Okay, well, when we're putting our houses on the market, and some of the important things to think about when we're preparing our home for sale. Very simple things, really. Um, it'd be very may surprise people how much more money they can achieve for their home just by making sure that it is clean and it's tidy. It's important to have the houses presented as well as you can so that when somebody walks in there they are seeing, seeing it in the best light that they can see it. Sometimes that's difficult but that's your aim is to get it presented well. A lot of people may say, well, surely people will see through that. These things are easily fixed. Well, if they're easily fixed, then fix them in advance before people come in because then they think the rest of the home is well maintained as well. The general cleanliness and tidiness of the house is, is very important. People very much look at showers. They often look in ovens and make comments about things like, oh, well, a clean oven. They're probably looking after the house well. The other key thing in preparation is decluttering the home. So if you've got lots of furniture which is surplus to requirements, get rid of it because if you can empty rooms out, it's amazing how much bigger rooms can actually appear to prospective buyers and if they're actually full of, of stuff which you don't actually need anymore. If you've decided to move, then start packing some of your gear. So make it open and spacious because invariably you want to make it look as big as it can be. So a lot of people have got little bits and pieces and, and how they live, and that's good for living, but for selling, put them in a box, put them away, to make the house look a lot simpler and open. And then people can imagine their property, their furniture in, in that house. At the end of the day though, we all um, remember the fact that you're still living in the home, normally. So you know, people are okay with that. They they want to want to see a home that's lived in. So don't kind of um, completely dehumanise the environment. Um, but if there are unnecessary clutter and things around, then it's good to get rid of them. Well, when preparing your home for sale, in terms of decluttering, um, I mean we're all different in terms of how we present it or how we like to live and present our homes. We've all got different styles and tastes and. If you're quite funky and out there, quirky, um, I mean, that's, that's fabulous, but it doesn't obviously appeal to everyone. So sometimes it's a good idea to remove some of those items that you might love, but um, they may not appeal to other people. And so in terms of appealing to the masses, um, it's probably safer to, if you've got, for instance, a, um, a beaded, um, a door hanging that you must walk through to get to the kitchen um, and that um, is a, a favourite item that you picked up in um, Tanzania um, for instance um, that may ne not necessarily appeal to everybody so it may become more of a hindrance to someone walking through the kitchen door with that hanging there so it might pay to pop that away and, and you can use it in your new house. Tidying up um, if there's little jobs to be done then do that. I mean, painting a wall is not a big deal, but it makes a huge can make a huge difference. Basically, the um, looking at things like painting. Um, is there any uh, paint that's peeling? Um, if if so, we need to get rid of that. We need to tidy that up. Um, you know, washing the ceilings is not a big job, but can make a huge difference. You know, things like fly marks on ceilings, on light fittings, and so on. That type of thing. A clean oven. Uh, those are the key areas, the kitchen, the bathroom, making sure there's no mould in the bathroom around doors. Those are real turn-offs for potential buyers. If you've got animals, then try to hide the animal smell as much as you can um, because there are a group of people out there, purchasers out there, that don't have animals. The outside of the house is again very important for, for first impressions. You can wash the outside, make sure that's nice and clean. So you want it clean and bright. Good idea if there's the roof needs cleaning to spray with wet and forget and that's probably a simple job and then you, so you don't want to have moss showing because that obviously emphasises dampness, coldness. Driveways as well, you don't want moss and things shot on driveways so again water blaster, water blaster drive if, if necessary. Um, decks and things, good idea to give them a good scrub or water blast without of course damaging the timber. <laughs> 
Um, and again, uh, fences and things, uh, first impressions are lasting impressions. So your fence at the beginning of the driveway, your front door, the paint's peeling, good idea to give that a good clean and to repaint if necessary. If uh, front doors have been sun damaged or garage doors have been sun damaged, probably worthwhile actually getting those redone because again that makes the place look a little bit sharper and well maintained. If there's any large trees that are overshadowing the house then maybe we should be looking at removing those um, because we don't want to be encouraging or looking at the fact that the house is possibly shaded or damp. Uh, make sure the grass is cut, that's probably 90% of it, um, in making a, a garden look bigger and, and well presented and, and neat and tidy from that point of view. The garden, in terms of a general tidy up, um, it's, it's a good idea and, you know, to have a working bee come through and have a general tidy up there. Um, you really want to make sure the garden's weeded and, and it's not overgrown looking, because then that looks like work. Little things like making sure your gutterings are cleared out, uh, not just important that people don't see a lawn growing out the top, um, but also when you, if you finally come to a building inspection, that's one of the first things they're going to pick up on. They'll make a building inspector look doubly at a home if they see little things like that which haven't been maintained properly. The, the fact that if something isn't presented well, um, people often think, well, what am I not seeing? You know, if they don't look after this or they haven't presented this correctly or nicely, what what else is wrong with the building? So you need to take all those uh, all those question marks out by applying a really well presented home, and that's where a real estate agent can be very helpful. Um, don't be scared to ask for the the real estate agent's um, comments. Um, they or she or he may walk, be quite happy to walk around and make a full list of notes and it might be very very pertinent to just wait for the actual marketing of your property until you've attended some of those things particularly if they're seen as being key important because you want to get the best price um, and, and you've got one opportunity to do it well.